From the recaptured atmosphere of the jungle to the heat of a bakehouse in Bayswater, London, still on the subject of art. For it's an artistic treat to watch the nimble fingers of Mr. John Nixie, whose work provides the answer to those who complain that in these days of mass-produced bread, the old craftsmanship seems to have disappeared. Admittedly, we don't often see this these days. Actually, this plaited loaf is child's play to a man who's been a baker since he was 15. And in fact, it tastes as good as it looks. People say it looks good enough to eat when they see something attractively presented, but much of John's work looks too good to eat. For his hobby happens to be modelling in dough, and although the finished work of art is edible enough, nobody ever has the heart to eat it. In this wheat sheaf, for example, which takes him about two hours to make, each of the 300 ears of wheat have to be separately modelled. It took Mr. Nixie several years to perfect a dough mixture which would be suitable for modelling and which would keep afterwards for some time. The recipe is still secret, although the ingredients are simply flour, margarine and sometimes a dash of cream. The models are baked in the same way as ordinary bread. Loaves and fishes is of course a traditional harvest design while his huge model, Cornfield at Harvest Time, is a masterpiece of detail that took him five hours to create. Containing 200 pieces of dough, the Horn of Plenty, a triumph of artistic appreciation and skill.